Good morning, Panthers, and welcome back to another amazing episode of CTV2. I'm Ella Ben, and I'm Kayla Free, bringing Charter's latest to you. Going live in three, two, one. There's going to be a blood drive on May 19th from 7 to 3 p.m. You can register during C and D lunches. You must be 16 or older with parents' permission. Seniors, remember that senior send-off is next week, so make sure that you pay attention to the dress up days and you participate. And good luck to everyone during testing season. Keep up the good work. Out of 156 surveyed high school students in, at Charter, 55 admitted to having a mental health disorder. In lieu of this information, middle schoolers have created the Mental Health Awareness Week starting May 17th with a string of activities to help relieve stress and reduce anxiety. Hi, my name is Sarah Hennel and I'm a sophomore. To me, mental health is being aware of your emotions and feelings and knowing what to do to boost them in a positive way. Hello, my name is D'Angelo Celeste and I'm in 11th grade and I feel like mental health is being overlooked as an excuse for teachers to think that students don't have like the energy to turn to work and I feel like they don't take it as serious as it should be. Hi, I'm Juliana and I'm in 7th grade and I really stress by usually listening to music. I'll have um, a playlist and I'll shuffle a few songs on that and it usually helps me really stress before like games or something. I hope you guys participate in Mental Health Awareness Week next week. See you guys soon. Thank you for talking about mental health and engaging our fellow students. Now we're going to be taking a look at local places that you could have fun during the summer. Hey Panthers, welcome back to this week's segment. I'm Isabella Freeman and today we're going to be discussing with you some cool ideas for the summer as activities. I hope you enjoy. To start off is one simple thing you could do during the summer is going to the beach. The beach is always fun and you could get a nice tan. Another place you could go to is Rapids Water Park. It is super fun to go with a bunch of your friends and there's a bunch of family rides and individual rides you could go on and it's super exciting. Another thing you could do is go on a hike outdoors. They are super fun and relaxing and you could go alone or just with your friends. Obviously during the summer we have a long period of time with no school and you could go on trips. You could travel to different states or countries and just explore the world. Another place you could do is go into a drive-in movie. They are super fun and you could bring a bunch of snacks with your friends and just watch a movie in your car. And one last thing you could do is go kayaking. You could do this at the beach or in a canal or lake and just go with your friends and it's super fun and relaxing. All right, that's all. I hope you guys enjoy some of these cool ideas for this summer. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hope everyone enjoys their summer this year. And now we're gonna take a look at seniors' favorite memories from high school. Hi, I'm Julia DiCaprio. And I'm Michaela Whitney. And we're gonna be interviewing seniors about their favorite high school memory. My name is Gio Rodriguez. Um, my favorite high school memory would be Spirit Weeks every time we compete because I'm a very co big competitor and competing against each other is really fun. Hi, my name is Cheyenne and my favorite high school memory was probably going to all the baseball games senior year. Hi, my name is Maisa and my favorite high school memory is dancing in pep rally my sophomore year. My name is Chase Capon and my favorite high school memory here at Charter uh, has been making the state playoffs for football for the first time in uh, school history, my 10th grade year. Um, it was a great experience and it was great to make history. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva and my favorite high school memory was FASC 2020 because it was right before the pandemic hit, literally the week before, and it was the last time I got to really create memories with a lot of the people that I cared about. Hi, I'm Elise Stolmeyer, and my favorite memory from high school was the Disney trip that I took with Momentum sophomore year. Hello, my name is Juan Lubiano, and my favorite high school memory was playing volleyball, getting into like actually planning a volleyball event with my friends after straight week. Hi, my name is Emily Donato, and my favorite high school memory was sophomore year Thespian States. Hi, I'm Joel Gomez, and my favorite high school memory is probably working on Lion King with all the now graduated um, upperclassmen. 
Thanks for sharing, seniors. We're all gonna miss you so much. Always remember, once a panther, always a panther. Thank you for sharing and good luck to all the graduating seniors. Oh, now we're gonna be taking a look at Ivory's nail business. Hi, I'm Ivory Dewarka. I'm a senior here at Charter, and for anyone that didn't know, I do nails. I started doing nails about a year ago. Um, I started with just like a $12 drill and like two really cheap nail polishes. And I posted my first set. It was a half blue, half pink set. And that's where everything really started. In the past year, I'd say I spent about $1,500 to $1,800 on my own um, because nail supplies aren't cheap, especially because I'm using good quality on all my clients. Also because um, you want to keep up with the trends. So at one point, there were the flames that were trends, and then there is like the brand name stickers that are trends. Now it's like the nail polish lines. You just have to keep up with trends. and. In order to do that, you do have to buy the products for it. So yeah. I made my nail Instagram page back in November of 2020. Um, I decided to start this page because I was starting to get comfortable with how my sets were turning out. And I currently have 165 followers on it. Um, it's impacting me because people are constantly reposting my pictures and shouting me out and telling me how much they love my work. And it's just obviously great for business and I'm continuously growing by the day. I love seeing the smiles and the comments that people make about me doing nails and because the comments they make, the captions, it just makes my day and it means more to me than they will know. Uh, my favorite sets are all of them. Only because it just, every time I do it, I show progress, in my opinion. But I definitely really like the set I recently did on my sister for her 17th birthday. My sister has definitely been my biggest supporter and client in doing these sets. She has critiqued me when I was first starting as to how I should hold the client's hands or how I should be filing just so I'm not hurting the client. I'm very grateful for that because if I didn't have her, I wouldn't be getting as much practice as I do. And to anyone that doesn't have a business but is planning on starting one, the advice I have for you is to definitely do it. I really like that saying, there's thousands of brands of water bottles and yet millions of people buy each one. And you can still do the same with yours. So go for it and I'm rooting for you from over here. Period! If you have any questions on just getting your nails done or even just starting your own business, don't hesitate and feel free to DM me on my nail page. Until next time, Panthers. Keep up the great work, Ivory. Up next, we're gonna be looking into a gym workout video for getting fit for summer. Endurance, power, strength. Summer 2021 is coming. And sitting that laptop all day is not gonna get you fit. It's up to you to see that your body gets the activity it needs for better physical and mental health.
Get on the grind, Panther. Thanks for watching another amazing episode of CTV2. I'm Ella Ben. And I'm Kayla. We bring Charter's latest to you. Bye. Have a great rest of your weekend.